Hi, my name's Devin. I've been married for 25 years and I have a family of six. As an individual entrepreneur, my company has been on the Inc. 5000 list more than just about anybody in this country. I do want you to know, I don't know the easy way in anything. I only know the hard way. Hey everyone, I want to talk about decision making. You're going to make good decisions, bad decisions. This is going to happen, right? That's a life. That's who we are. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. It's part of the growing process. Most of the reason I get to make these videos is from all the bad decisions I've made in my life, right? So don't paralyze yourself with, oh, what if I make a bad decision? I'll make it easy for you. You are gonna make bad decisions. What I'm trying to do with these, this video series and all these blogs is teach you how to make better decisions and make less bad decisions. Again, don't be afraid of the bad decisions. You'll learn, you'll grow from them. But it would be, it'd be nice to learn how to make really great decisions early. So whether you're, when you're pursuing your dreams, whether you're a leader, whether you're you know, an entrepreneur, whether you're a business professional, what, whatever dream that you're pursuing, you're gonna be, encounter plenty of big decisions along the way. What I'm gonna challenge you to do is really have some discipline around your decision making. There's a, there's a super simple story, right? I'm, I'm sure you've even experienced this or heard this before about like when you get angry and you write an email and you're like, rawr, rawr, and you're about to hit send, listen, don't hit send, sleep on it at night, read the email in the morning. If you still wanna hit send in the morning, hit send in the morning. Listen, I, we've all experienced this, I've done that, I've hit send too soon, I'm like, oh, I wish I would've slept on that one. Or, you know, you wake on up in the morning, you read it and you go, no, I still wanna send it, and you hit send, right? Makes sense, right? So we, we that's a, a very simple principle, I like to expand that in decision making, right? And what I always tell people is, listen, if it's a good decision today, it's gonna be a great decision 90 days from now. I just had a conversation with my friend over lunch and he and his wife and I were having lunch and they're going through a really big decision making time. And I said, looks like you got a big decision to make. And listen, I think either one of these decisions could be great for you. But I'm gonna tell you what, if it's a good decision today, if you decide, yes, we wanna do it, you could do it today, but if it's a good decision today, if you spend 90 days, you consider it, you pray about it, you talk about it, you bring more friends, it's gonna be, it's still gonna be a good decision 90 days from now, but 90 days from now, it's gonna be a great decision. I can't think of hardly anything where if you delay the decision and you consider it a little bit more, that you're going to make a better decision. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about press procrastination, I'm not talking about fear, I'm talking about genuine decision making. Should we buy a house? Should we move? Should we start this company? Listen, if you've already been thinking about it and you've been playing it out for years, awesome. But I'm talking about you wake up on a Monday morning, you're like, Dad, gonna, I'm gonna do it. And you haven't given it that much thought? All right, listen, if it's a good decision today, it's gonna be a great decision 90 days from now. If you wake up tomorrow and you're like, I should buy a Ferrari. I need to treat myself. Well, Maybe you should. Maybe you really do need to treat yourself. But I'm gonna challenge you. Let 90 days go by, and if it's 90 days from now, you still think that's a great decision, go get yourself a Ferrari, right? But most of the time, 90 days passes, and you go, eh, glad I didn't spend $350,000 on a Ferrari because I'm gonna have to spend 15,000 in maintenance, and it costs me $3 just to start it up every time. And, you know, by the way, I'm, you know, would have ran into a curb anyways. If you can tell, this is a conversation I have in my head all the time. So anyways, listen, have some discernment around your decision making. If it's a good decision today, it'd be a great decision 90 days from now. Listen, I know it's not easy, it's the hard way, but it's, again, the only way I know. Hope that helps.